Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Gentlemen, last night the B lab here at the Germ Warfare Center was broken into. The object of that break in was formula BX976, a highly toxic, a highly secret substance. Now, this man is Richard Syrett, a known foreign agent. His attempt to steal a sample of BX976 was not successful. He escaped without the toxin. But although he didn't get it, he got it. By which I mean he contaminated himself. He is now highly contagious, and he will contaminate anyone that he comes in contact with. Which just goes to show you, this stuff is not only deadly, it's darned economical. Now, here are the four stages of this disease. Stage one, hallucinations. Stage two, disorientation and lack of coordination. Stage three, lethargy leading to coma. Stage four, the big kahuna, death. Now there you have it. This man is on the loose and he must be found before he contaminates everyone in this country. This mission is top secret. No one in the public knows. Any questions? Good, let's get to work. Okay. The reason I called you in is because... Hammer. Hammer, Hammer what are you doing? Don't worry, sir. Pest control. Dang, just winged him. Hammer, give me that gun so I can kill you. I was just trying to protect you, sir. Flies are filth, and they can spread diseases. You're a disease! And I survived you. Barely. You seem upset. <clears throat> Captain, you were saying? I'm saying that Hammer is going to be the death of me. But what I wanted to say, what I wanted to say, is that the military is asking for our assistance. The military? No problem. My tank is gassed up and ready to roll. Hammer, the military doesn't need your tank. It needs your eyes. They're ready to roll, too. See? <laughs> they need our help in locating this man, Richard Syrett. Uh-huh. Syrett. What does he look like? He looks like this. Oh, right, because you got the... I don't, know, I don't know where my head's at. <laughs> All right, now my orders are very specific. If you spot this man, don't approach him. Don't even apprehend him. Don't even touch him. Why, has he got a major case of the cooties? Hammer, if I wasn't trying to control my high blood pressure, I would scream at you. Well, you screamed at me already. You're... Shut up! Shut your mouth! Twice. <clears throat> They're adding up. Shut up! You! Now listen, if you see this man, I want you to call this special number. 1-800-M-I-L-I-T-A-R-Y. It's too many numbers, Captain. Well, obviously, Doro, you have not been in the military. I wish the military would tell us what this Syrot clown did. I can't stand secrets. Even as a kid at Christmas, I would take my toys and I'd shake them and I'd shake them and I'd listen to them and then I'd bang them on the floor. I just had to know what was inside. What'd you find out? I found out Santa brought me a lot of broken toys. Listen, Hammer, I gotta close up. And this deadbeat's been sitting here all night long nursing one lousy beer. I'm telling you, fruitcakes like him make my blood pressure push the edge of the envelope, if you know what I mean. No problemo, Jack. All right, vagrant. Come on, time to dump your garbage someplace else. This joint is closing. Comprehendo, slime bagel, 
Sledge, do you know who that is? Yeah, this is the creep that's been driving Jack crazy. Richard Syrod, take a look. It's the guy the military is looking for. Come on, we better call. Hey, I don't need the army to help me bust this sick sickle. Sledge! Now our orders were very specific. We are not to touch him. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I just snagged the biggest fish in this city. No, 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 hold your applause until I get him mounted. Look what I found, sir. Oh. No, you can't. Hammer. You weren't supposed to bring him in. You were supposed to call that number. Why didn't you call that number? I didn't have 20 cents. It's toll free, taught his brain. All right, uh, uh, listen, take Sire down to the holding tank. I've got to talk to the military and try to salvage my head from the chopping block. Yo, yo, yo! I wish you'd call that number. Hammer, this guy is really sick. Of course he's sick. He's probably a commie, and all commies are sick. What we really need is a doctor. Uh, excuse me, I couldn't help overhearing. I'm a doctor. I'd be glad to come in and examine this man. A doctor in the next cell? What are the odds? Get him in here. Well, let's have a little look here. Here we go. Just take a few minutes here. Hmm. This won't take long. I promise not to hurt you. Here we go. Hey, we don't need a CAT scan here, doctor, right? Just tell me what's wrong with the guy. If you don't mind, I'm the doctor. <clears throat> cough, please. Please cough. Prognosis is not very good. The patient is not breathing. The patient is not moving. The patient's heart is not beating. Oh, well, gee, then he must be dead. Bambi, please. I'm the doctor. He must be dead. This is all we need, Hammer. By the way, Doc, what are you in here for? Not much. Impersonating a doctor. And I'm not really a nurse, either. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah, but the pay is great. <laughs> Syra just died. Oh, that's terrific. That's just wonderful. That really makes my day. What happened? Hammer shoot him through the heart? Hammer had nothing to do with it, Captain. <sighs> Hammer always has something to do with it. That psycho has been assaulting my coffee ever since he transferred here. But I don't really care, Doro. I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me anymore because... I mean, even if I'm going to lose my badge and I'll be on the street talking to parking meters, it doesn't matter to me because I'm... <laughs> okay, everybody. The building is under quarantine. Until further notice, no one exits or enters the building. No exceptions. Question? Yes, quite a few. I'm Colonel Poltz. How are you doing today? Horrible. You mind telling me why we're under quarantine, Colonel? Oh, please call me Mike. Okay, Mike. What is all this? All what? What? All these people in spacesuits, what are they doing here? You're sealing off the building is very routine. Then what's with all these cameras? It's routine, observational purposes. Then just what is it that you're observing, Captain, Mike? Captain, Captain, relax. Just pretend we're not here. You go about your business as usual. Just don't leave the building. Hey, Cap, why don't you give me a little tour so I can check out the layout, see who is where and what's what. Blood. We 
done paid our bills, so what's with all this quarantine business? Hey, Wanda, what's he, your pimp? Our attorney. <laughs> yeah, you best believe it, homeboy. I have a class of 82. Now, why don't you just cut us some slack before I habeas corpus upside your chubby little face? Roger, please. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Thank you very much for your hospitality, Captain. I must be moving along now. Duty calls. What am I supposed to do about Sarit? He's down in my holding tank, dead. Oh, don't worry, he's not going anywhere. All right, so... So far, you've told me nothing about anything. Now you are going to tell me something about something. All right. Wrinkle in my radiation suit. Stage one, hallucinations. I need you. I want you. Make love to me now and forever and ever. And forever and ever. Anybody got I-29? Do I hear a bingo? You got I-29? Need I-29 for a bingo. Come on, somebody's got to have it. Toro, what are you doing? Me Jane. Who are you? Who are you? God, you're normal. Trust me, you know what you're doing. You talking to me? That's right, amigo, I'm talking to you. You talking to me? Read my lips. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Well, I'm listening. Hammer, who are you talking to? I'm not talking, he is. See his little muzzle move? Don't point that thing at me. Oh, don't worry, he can't shoot while he's talking. I couldn't agree more. Let me speak to Polt. Now. Poltz? This is Captain Trunk. I got a room full of crazies here, and I want to know why. Gosh, I can't imagine. But trust me, it's nothing to worry about. Poltz, I am worried. Is, is this something about Cyrus? I mean, he, he's got some kind of disease that's infecting all of us, right? No, no, it's just some kind of odd coincidence. Just stay calm. Just relax. It'll all be over in eight to ten hours. It better be, or I'm gonna bust through your space goons and come after your hide, you understand? 
Gee, that's not a good idea, Captain. My men have orders to shoot to kill. It's nothing personal. Sergeant, tell the men they'll be home in time for dinner. Captain Trunk and the other quarantine civilians will all be deceased by 1,800 hours. I feel just terrible. I just, I just feel like my whole body was hit with shrapnel. Would you, like, give me a massage? And now this special bullet. What's this? According to our sources, everybody inside the building has been contaminated by a deadly experimental nerve gas developed by the military for use in germ warfare. Unfortunately, there is no known antidote which means that everybody inside will be dead within a matter of hours. But there is one bright note. Thank God it's them and not us. Now back to Crazy Teddy, the weatherman, as he continues his five-part special on clouds. It's just that Lisa Ellerblub. What does that dumb chick know? She knows we're contaminated and we're gonna die. Oh, yeah? Well, nobody's gonna tell me when I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die when I'm good and gosh darn ready. And boy, am I ever feeling ready. All right, come on. Come on, people! Let's not give up here. Come on, the only thing can save us is us. Come on, people, let's put our heads together and think of a way to save our lives. Come on, come on, come on, Major. Get up, get up, Major. Thoreau, come on, come on, come on, come on. Captain, I just realized something. What? How can we not sick like everybody else? I don't know. I mean, I feel fine. Why is that? Why am I immune? Maybe it doesn't affect captains. Or maybe there's a medical explanation. A yeah, medical explanation. All right, Doc. Let's you and I go down to the lab and get some tests of me. I want to find out why I'm immune. Captain, he's not a real doctor. <clears throat> Doro, he's going to be working on me. What do you care? I don't care. Daly, we don't have much time, so I want to say something. I've always had the hearts for you. <laughs> Me, Joy, I'm not going to make love with you if that's what you're asking. Oh, come on, help me out. I'm going through a mid-end life crisis. I've got a headache. Brother. Can't you think of something more original? Well, excuse me for a living, but I'm dying here, and that gives me a really bad headache, okay? You know what? I hope there's no men in heaven. No chance. They're all in hell. Thank God. There's just one problem. I don't think we're going to heaven. Sledge, you believe in the afterlife? I don't even believe in life. Well, I just want you to know that even though we're all going to die because of your stupidity, I forgive you. Yeah. You've been a great partner and a good friend. And I love you like a brother. Come on, Darrow. This is no time to be sentimental. This is a perfect time. We're dying. You're right. In that case, I just want to tell you that you are the best partner I ever had. And I'm really going to miss you. Almost as much as I'm going to miss me. Ditto. Ditto, ditto, Duro. That's a really sweet hammer. No. Doc, what'd you find out? Your blood pressure is so high that your veins are going to explode. If you weren't so mad all the time, 
You can control it. All right. I know I've got high blood pressure. I take pills for it. All right. I forgot to take it this morning. What's that got to do with... Oh, I can't be. Are you trying to tell me that you think that my high blood pressure makes me immune? How would I know? I'm not a real doctor. What the hell? It's worth a try. All right, listen up, everybody. I think that somehow high blood pressure can cure this thing. And the only way to raise your blood pressure is to get mad. So let's everybody get angry, get mad. Come on. Get up, get mad. Come on. Come on, you. Get Come on, you get angry. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Hammer. Hammer. I hate your guts. Always have, always will. So what? So what? Okay, what are you hitting me for? What are you gonna do about it? You're nothing but a spineless wimp. Yeah, well. No, you're a woman. Hey, nobody calls me a woman. Oh, you're not a woman. Well, then maybe a little girl with a pretty pink dress and pigtails. You wanna play hopscotch, little girl, huh? Hey, now those are fighting words. Yeah! Doro. I'm glad you're dying because you're the stupidest cop I ever saw in my whole life. I'm smart. Ah, oh, smart. You don't know a suspect from sushi, Doro. You know how many times I've wanted to bounce you from here to Fresno, Doro, huh? You can't talk to me like that. I can talk to you any way I want to, Miss Bimbo. Bimbo? I am not a bimbo. It works! Making people mad enough to raise their blood pressure is a cure. Come on, help me out here. Make everybody mad. You're real good at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Captain, this is ridiculous. Getting mad is supposed to make us well? my kind of disease. Captain, I congratulate you. Because of your action, many lives were saved. I'm recommending you for the Congressional Medal of Honor, the highest award this country gives. You go to Washington, meet the president. Now, what do you think? What I think? I think that you are stinking up my office, Mike. And I don't give a fat rat's patootie about the Congressional Medal of Honor. I want you out of my office in 10 seconds. If you're not out, I'm going to fill you so full of holes that your next job will be a chain link fence. I hate to say this, sir, but I love you when you're mad. You took it out, too. Yes, sir. I'm up. Hurry up. I'm Move it. Yes, sir. 